If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hi folks, welcome back. Review time. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this review on Click Fountain Pens. So, here we go. Today, I'm going to be going over a couple of new pens by Click. And this video is brought to you by Click Pens. Thank you, Mr. Harsh. So, when you get your pens, they're going to come like this. Most of them. Any pen that you get, I assume, it will come in a pen case like this with a pen sleeve. Little cardboard box there, which is nice. And on the back, you'll have the name of the pen. And here is the real deal, right here. Here's the pen case. It's a more heavy duty box with click logo on it and it tells you handcrafted pins we'll take off the lid and here it is click so y'all can get a look at that and I'll let you look at that now click uh, pins have been around since 1978 so they've been around for a while and they have really put out a really nice fountain pen that's not only a good looking pen feels great in the hand but also with a great nib wet smooth and very affordable so if you're in a very tight budget or have no money and you want a fountain pen that looks great, you might want to check these out. And they do stand by every product they make, and they have a guaranteed against mechanical failure due to faulty material or workmanship. And how do you reach Click if you're interested? www.clickpins.in. Now you can find these pens from Federalist Pens and Paper and from Kevin at Fountain Pen Revolution. If you're looking for certain models and you can't find them at either location, you might want to check with Mr. Harsh. And the phone number is plus nine one seven three one two nine seven one seven seven one or just simply email them at clickpins at hotmail dot com www dot clickpins in made in India that's what the little cart is I'm gonna put it right like that for you 
So let's say you're looking for pens with a different color or a different model or a different uh, nib size. Uh, you don't want a plastic feed, but maybe a ebonite feed. Well, what you want to do is first I would go to Federalist Pens and Paper and then also check with Fountain Pen Revolution, see what they have, see, and then ask them questions. They'll be glad to uh, answer any of your questions. That's what they're there for. And if not, then you can always go directly to Click Pens and get this resolved and get a pen of your choice straight to you. Is it worth it? I think so. So, so you, you come with the cards. And then an instruction card here tells you fill in the pen and you have three in one ink filling mechanism. The converter, the cartridge, and the eyedropper. And a lot of people like eyedroppers, but a lot of people like all three of them. So you have a choice. You can pick your choice. It's your pen. You love it. You create what you want for your little buddy to do. And here's how they come in the box. And here's your converter. You get two ink cartridges. And then you get the pen in uh, amethyst. Very good. And while we're at it, I'm going to show the other one. Okay, so that one is the yen, the amethyst version. And this next one is the renaissance. Raw, raw, renaissance. And no need to go over the pen case again because we've already been through it one time. <laughs> Spare me the ordeal. Okay. Here we go. And. Ooh, that, isn't that pretty? Wow. Now, no, I think that one was called Demo Sky Blue. Let's see. Let me put all this stuff up here. I think it was called Demo Sky Blue right over here. And it says, and demos. Yep, demo sky blue. Yay. Yep. Now, this has a fine nib. And uh, this one's going to have the medium nib. Fine nib, medium nib. Fine, medium, fine, medium. So, have I got your attention? I hope so. Hey, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button or even hit the like button for me. Help the brother out. Come on. I'm doing this for all of us. We're family. Let's keep the pin movement going. So. They come in a... It feels like a foam. What does it feel like to you, Mr. Announcer? Yeah, that is kind of a foam rubber feel to it. Yeah, that keeps them in place, so... They won't get damaged wherever they go. They go. Now, these came from India. Which one do you want to do first, Mr. Nelson? Uh, let's save the best for last. Thought you, let's do the demo sky blue first. first. All right. That is a nice I color. Do, I do like that uh, amethyst purple. Yeah, that's pretty. This is a nice color. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to give you the measurements and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm going to fill it up with some KWZ ink after I get through talking about the pen. So, the Demo Sky Blue. Beautiful pen. Look at it. It is really good looking. I'm really feeling this one. It looks really nice. I love the color, the transparency, and just, it makes a statement. Just look at it. It looks so bold, good. It's like Anybody would be proud to carry this pen. And the weight of this pen is on about 20 Gs. Now the length of the pen 
is 5.69 inches as you see it here. The pin does post at 7.33 inches. So let's go up the barrel and right here you're going to see click. Can we get a real good close up? And nice clip. And when you go to the top of the cap, it's rounded. It's a flat, round color, matches the pin. And then we're going to go down to the end of the cap and we're going to see two silver chrome thin bands around it. That makes it look sharp. And then you go down this beautiful barrel and this is what I'm digging right here. I'm feeling this right here. It just looks like really neat. Almost like a magnifying glass. Doesn't it? Look at that. Huh. And it unscrews. And then it, for those who want to post. Now that would be, in my opinion, a little bit too long. So, you, for small, medium, large hands, this is going to be just fine. Fits nice and comfortable in the hand. And as you go down this barrel, there's nothing that's going to be annoying to your fingers because at times I tend to hold my pin right here. I try to keep it down here, but a lot of times it, before I know it, it's right here. And it doesn't bother me. And let's unscrew this. Because I'm going to show you something. Alright. Now here's the nib. Click. Find. Nib. So here you go. Well, you're going to get three pieces. But let's go with the nib. What makes it really cool, you can just twist it out. Boom. That's it. And this is a fine Jovo nib. So, if you wanted to get a different nib, <clears throat> you can. These are friction fit. You just pull them out. Be careful how you do it. Remember, here, here, and just like that. And they're really easy to take out and put in. So, it doesn't take rocket science to do this. For me, it might. But, and for others, nah. So, that's how that goes. So, what do you think so far about this pin? I think it's pretty awesome. And you know, and I'm not really into uh, demonstrators like this. Uh, but this one just really looks cool. It's got my attention. So, I think, well, I can use the ink. I think here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it up with some good old KWZ ink. It's called Hawaii Blue, baby. So let's get this a going here. Because I, like you, want to see how it writes. Isn't that important? Sure is. And what's really, like I said, about this pen is cool. They're very, very affordable. I mean, you can call Frank right now. And it's way down there. So here's what I'm going to have to do, my friends. Uh, and ask Frank about it. And uh, with Frank, you know he got all kinds of discounts going on. He always has discounts. And you know, Discounts on already an affordable pen. Let me 
clean that off after I put the lid on it. Got to put a lid on it, Larry. Sorry about that. Didn't Elvis do a song called Blue Hawaii? Yes, he did. Blue, 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 blue Hawaii. Like that. Oh, look at that. Very good. Thank you. I'm also an alien. Ta-da. Just think, I am the only reviewer that you can come on and get a free show. Huh. What do you think? Not good. Uh, well, it's it's definitely <laughs> unique. <laughs> oh, well. Here we go. And then we'll go over the other one. But anyway, this pen is really nice. Here we go. The ink is KWZ. I love this ink. And I am going to do a little wet test. Beautiful. Very nice. And writing time. And we'll try some reverse. Beautiful. Writes really well. No problems at all. No skips. No misses. It's right on the money. So there you have the Demo Sky Blue. Again. Check with the Federalist Pins and Paper. Like I said, he has all kinds of discounts already on some great prices as he has a big, big, giant, huge variety of pens, papers, inks, nibs, you name it, he's got it. That's what Frank's business is, to make you happy. Put a smile on his face, right? Yep. Also, mention my name and you get a discount. But like I said, if you forget my name, God help you. You still can't miss a discount because he has them all over the place. So, now this is this beautiful sky blue. Also, at Fountain Pen Revolution, ask, him about, ask Kevin about this pen as well. He's got some fabulous prices going on as well. You pick. It's your money. You use it wisely. Let's go to the next pen. Da 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 da. Oh, I want to show you something. Look at my cool pen. Bic. It's a pink. Yay! It's a broad nib. Yay! Kind of crazy, isn't it? Okay, my friends. So here they are, comparison side by side. Both are beautiful. 
Now, again, the length of the pen as you see it. Dun, 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 dun. It's going to be a whopping 7 inches. And the length of the pen capped is 5.82 inches. And the weight is 18.1 G's per our scale and our rulers. Beautiful amethyst. Has a Jovo medium nib. And this is going to have about the same hardware as the blue one does. You see the bands both here and on the amethyst. Then you got the clips, and the only difference on the clip is you have click right here on the side of the nib. You can see it real clear there. And then the emphasis, because it looks like maybe the clip might be a little bit more narrow. They put click on the very top. You can still see it. Can they get a good shot of that? Cigar shaped pin. Let's unscrew it and then we're going to post it. It does post, but again, it would be too long. But that's entirely up to you. Again, as a previous one, fits well in the hand. Looks great. And then the nib has got click on it. Medium. It will M for medium. And then there's your feed. Through the barrel. This can be a knob dropper as well, like I said. And this does the nib also. You can screw it out. And there's your pin. And then you can add in a converter or a cartridge or use it as a knob dropper. Choice is yours. And you're kind of thinking, God, that's a good looking pen. And you're probably saying, well, is the pen really that good? Yes, it is. If you never used a click pen before, maybe it's time you give it a try. You never know how a pen's going to react until you actually give it a try. Now, you may not like it. There are some pins that people love when they see them and hear about them and all this stuff. But when they finally get to use it, they're very disappointed. Now, I am I, I am completely out of ink on the Lamy. Oh, I love the Lamy purple ink. I love it, love it, love it. So... Well, they call it dark violet. I always call it purple. So let me pull out Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The Beatles! Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. You cannot go wrong with this ink. Alright, now. To be honest with you, and not mislead you, when I was filling it, it just wouldn't sucking it up into the converter. And I tilted it and did everything I was supposed to, it still wouldn't. So, I had to make sure that the converter was really snug fit with the feed and make sure that the nib was in there. Not super tight, but a nice snug fit and then 
I had Mr. Nath to hold the bottle at an angle because the bottle was getting low so I could fill it up. And after I got that suction going, it was just fine. So that's what happened. Never fear, Larry is here. Here we go. Yep, I do love this pen. Nice color. Here we go. Over the rainbow. All right. And I've always called this the, well, that's what it is. I call it Sgt. Pepper, the Beatles, purple. Ooh, sweet. And do a little wet test there, come on. It's gonna rock and roll. There you go, baby. All right. We'll do reverse. Hey, and you definitely do get a different top, a different line variation. And there is no skips whatsoever. Just a real nice flow of ink. Very nice nib. Wet. Smooth. Okay. Now here's the downstroke. And here's the crossstroke. Downstroke with pressure. And you're not, not going to get much. There you go. Now, I'll bring the other pin aboard. Now, this one has the Hawaii blue in it. Downstroke and with pressure. And you get a little bit more with the downstroke with the pressure as you see it next to the purple right here. And then when you go bam and bam, you're not going to get a whole lot about the same. So, I mean, they're going to do the job. Okay, these pins are going to do the job guaranteed. Guaranteed you're going to like the way they feel in your hand the way the pin handles. The nibs are wet and smooth. Your hands are not going to get tired. You will enjoy using the fountain pens. You know, I think it's time for India to start moving in, stepping forward, because I don't know about the past, but they've done an excellent job and put a lot of work in making these fountain pens successful because this is their livelihood. This is a family-owned pens. I mean, if you're not happy, they're not happy. They want to please you. They want to make sure that you're happy with their products. And I'm sure, without a doubt, that these pens will satisfy your every need. So check them out. I told you where to go. I tell you how to get in touch. So, the rest is up to you. Before I go, I'll give one more favor. Hit that like button. Just look. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. Help a brother out. 
We're all in this together. Peace and love, my friends. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.